Welcome to the MT390 RCD testing tutorial. By default, the RCD mode is set to auto, but you can initiate manual testing and the ramp function as desired. Let's run through all the testing options. Using the auto mode, turn the rotary switch to the RCD position. Using the F2 and F3 button, select the rating and the type of RCD. Connect the test leads. Press the help button to display the correct wiring diagram. When the voltage of live and protective earth appear on the lower left, the unit is ready to test. If neutral and protective earth test leads are reversed, the instrument will still carry out the test. Please note that if the voltage is greater than 25 volts between protective earth and neutral, you will be unable to perform the test. And if the voltage is less than 50 volts between protective earth and neutral, hold the F3 button to adjust fault limits on the bottom right corner to UL50 volts. Press the test button when ready. The test will proceed, and it should not trip from half mode, but will trip from the single, zero degree mode and indicate the trip time. Reset your RCD, and the unit will measure the trip time from the single, 180 degree mode. Repeat for both 5 times 0 degree and 5 time 180 degree, resetting the RCD after each test. The test is now complete, and you can see your display for the results. Using the half, single, and times 5 manual selection, Press F1 and use the arrow keys to navigate to half, single and five time option. Using the F2 and F3 button, select the RCD's trip current and type of the RCD, general or selective. When using the selective RCD function, the RCD will measure by delaying 30 seconds and then stream the current while displaying 30 seconds during the time of the delay. An AC RCD will stream the current in RMS value, which has a sine wave form. Using the ramp function, Use the F1 button and arrow keys to select the ramp function. Using the F2 and F3 button, select the RCD's trip current and the type of RCD. Press F4 for selective 0 degree and 180 degree. Press the test button when ready. The test current will ramp up from 3 milliamps to 33 milliamps in 3 milliamps stages. Your RCD should operate at approximately 21 milliamps for it to be in compliance. Thank you for watching. For more MT390 tutorials, go to our MT390 playlist and visit our channel for more electrifying content.